Oh God, today we're taking apart an iBook clamshell. So get ready for a screw apocalypse. So this is my iBook G3 clamshell 466 megahertz special edition uh, that I picked up and actually got in the original box and showed that off in a previous video. Uh, and this is a very special laptop because uh, it's the very last and fastest of the clamshell iBooks to come out. Uh, so this came out in the year 2000 and it's the only one of the iBooks, iBook clamshells to have a, a factory DVD ROM drive and more importantly, Firewire. So it's very easy to tinker around with this, put it in target disk mode. Actually, I did that to install Tiger on here. Um, but unfortunately, there was a bit of a problem with the power jack. And of course, the battery is dead. So I was going to take this apart and resolder that power connector. But I'm pretty lazy and impatient. So I just went ahead and bought a new one on eBay because fortunately the power DC jack is on uh, a little daughter board here. So who knows, maybe the daughter board is just loose in there. Um, and if so, we'll just push it down or uh, we'll replace it with this one. And then, you know, either way, we'll have a spare one of these, which can't hurt. And this was just a, a couple bucks on eBay. And while we're in there, we're gonna put in an M.2 SSD or a mini PCI M SATA SSD, uh, 60 gigabytes. And we're gonna do that with this nice IDE adapter enclosure, uh, which should fit right in there with that uh, original hard drive. So unfortunately, if you've never taken apart one of these things before, uh, it's a huge pain because in order to get to the hard drive, you have to take literally the entire machine apart. So the hard drive is at the very bottom of the computer, but there's no access from the bottom. So you have to take off the keyboard and the palm rest and all of the shielding in there. You actually have to take the screen off. Uh, and there's like 50 some odd little tiny screws and they're all different. Uh, so it's a huge pain to do, but I love this guy. So we're going to do it. And I don't intend this video to be like a walkthrough of how to take one of these apart or replace the hard drive. Uh, but if you'd like to do that, uh, I'm going to link a video down below from the 8-bit guy from a number of years ago, but it's probably the best walkthrough on taking one of these things apart uh, that I've ever seen. And I've watched it a couple times uh, in preparation for our project today. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so I've got all of my tools here, um, some of which are required, some of which will just be helpful. So of course I have my fix-it kit with lots of different heads, drivers on here, uh, including the Torx T5, which we're gonna need for a lot of those screws. And then some way to keep all those screws organized. I have my handy dandy official ice cube tray screw holder. Um, I have a five millimeter nut driver, um, which we're gonna need in a couple of places. And if you don't have one of these, uh, you can use pliers for some of it, but it's super annoying. And I also have a little telescoping magnet deal that I can pick up screws with. Oh, and then the most important thing, I have instructions. All right, let's crack this thing open.
Wow, that was a huge pain in the ass to get all the way down here. But here it is, the hard drive in the bracket. This is yeah, just the factory 10 gig hard drive. So now we can get our new drive ready. So this is a pretty cool little adapter. It's just uh, a uh, MSATA connector in here and it transforms that into an IDE interface. And then we've got our little uh, 60 gig drive right here. Here we go. There is our new MSATA SSD for our clamshell iBook. And then while we're here, let's take a look at this DC in jack. See if we can't figure out why it's not working correctly. It is connected. All right, so I do see a little bit of an issue here. This pad actually looks like it got fried and it's not soldered. This pin is not soldered to the pad anymore. So when you put the power cord in, if you twisted it just right, it would make the connection again and then uh, it would lose it. So I'll fix this later, but for now, let's toss in the new one. All right, we've got our new used but new DC in jack here with nice shiny new contacts. Yeah, I don't think this has ever been used. So that's awesome. Well, let's get this in there and then put this monster back together. All right, moment of truth. And well, the one good sign is it's already lit up green here in the power port, so at least that works. Here we go. Made the sound, that's a good sign. Come on screen. Hey, it's alive. Would you look at that? All right, looks like we are into the Tiger installer. 
boot it up off a DVD, and now we're going to have to cross our fingers that our lovely new SSD works. Please don't make me take this thing all the way apart again. Oh, thank God. There it is. 55.9 gigabyte Tungsenbao M3. Sweet. So now we're going to have to partition this. And we'll call this Clammy. Mac OS 9 drivers and partition. Well, that was fast. All right, continue, agree, install to Clammy. We don't need to check the DVD. I like to live dangerously. Hey, look at that. We did it. We saved this clamshell iBook. We've got an SSD in here, we have 10.4 Tiger on here, and our 576 megs of RAM. All right, well, at this point, it is just about beer clock, and I need to play some Fallout 2. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.